Yo, what's going on guys? I'm gonna be showing you a speedy hyper carry Evelyn build that's geared more towards the early and mid game. One of Evelyn's weakest aspects is her levels one through five. And this build is geared towards levels one through five and kind of six through 11. And that is essentially having celerity, electrocute, sun impact, eyeball, relentless, and gathering storm is a bit of your insurance policy. Without gathering storm, if the game does go past 40 minutes, you're going to have some issues. Gathering Storm obviously plays quite nicely with Robodon as well, since you get the scaling off of that. So basically what you're going to want to do with this build is stack as much movement speed as possible. That's why we have Blue Smite. Blue Smite's going to be huge. We're also going to be trying to take advantage of uh, Majaya's, which gives 10% movement speed when you have 10 stacks or more. We're going to be taking advantage of Lich Bane, the Night Harvester movement speed. On this build, you typically don't want to go Rocket Belt because it doesn't give you movement speed of any kind because movement speed scales with celerity it's one of its passives we're gonna do a standard evelyn clear which is a full clear into gank looks like our thresh is afk it's a thresh into a morgana lane which is kind of hard anyways we might end up having a gank for our nasus early hopefully he's able to poke teemo down in some way shape or form with his ease that's probably gonna be our best first gank but yeah, Genki Morgan is kind of hard. Once she has her black shield on Evelyn, you have no way of landing your charm, which is your, really your biggest insurance policy for your ganks. Otherwise, if you're showing yourself up on the map, then me jungler can take advantage of that. That's like people who post on Facebook, oh, I'm gonna go to Hawaii for two weeks this Monday or whatever. Like, just making it easy for people to take advantage of you. And that's what happens when you show up to gank as a jungler. Everyone gets to see it. They get to see your HP. They get to see how much CS you have, what level you are, what items you have, etc. And uh, they can invade your camps. They can set up a kill on you by hiding a path that you're going to have to take to get to the rest of your camps. We are up against the Fiddlesticks. He is not really much of a counter jungle champion like a Kha'Zix, Rangar, Warwick. So I can walk into these bushes more freely. I don't have to use my Oracle Lens or anything like that. We are losing a lot of HP, not a huge deal. You heal up really fast once you use your smite, plus once you have red buff, you heal up really fast as well. We're gonna auto attack it, E reset. And now, as you can see, we have most of our HP back, around 315. It wasn't the best clear in the world because we didn't actually... <laughs> the golem actually stopped Nasus. That's insane. Because I was, I was closer to it. I'm going to have to wait for Nasus to TP back now. I'll we'll probably just grab this. You may say, well, why not go for Scuttle Crab? I can't because uh, Teemo has lane prio. Nasus isn't okay. He's going to TP back. I might just go bot lane. This is a waste of time. I can't wait for Nasus. I can't go for Scuttle since I don't have top prio. Teemo could pinch me. So what we're gonna do is go back at a Dark Seal, Boots, and a Control Word. Boots, Dark Seal, back is really strong. It's really good for your ganks. Boots and Dark Seal are both fantastic for that. Looks like Thresh and Draven are hanging in there. Morgan is still pretty healthy. We'll set up a gromp, my gromp and then see what else is going on down there. Mm, I don't actually know if that's gankable. The thing is, if they're full HP, that means they probably have their summoners as well. So we're going to have to hold off on that and just kind of farm. Looks like Fiddlesticks is bought. I have no clue how my bot lane got first blood. Someone must have played that weird. My bot lane was missing a big chunk of HP before that fight started. Uh, Nasus backed again. He's getting torn up. I don't think he knows how to play that matchup. If you're going to play Nasus into Teemo, you go second wind in your runes. It's a resolve tree one. It heals you every time you take damage. And... Uh, yeah, you just sit back, you're going to lose some CS, and you're going to poke Teemo with your E every single time he steps up. Fiddle 6 is bot side. I'm going to go for this Scuttle. I didn't go for it originally because I thought he could have been here, but realistically, Fiddlesticks is going to start blue buff, so he was most likely going to be on bot side Scuttle unless he did a weird clear. 
I'll try to gank this. Yeah, this isn't gonna work. I mean, getting Timo's flash is decent. Could be worse. Hopefully Nasus can get that. I'm just gonna reset. Or get, uh, I could go get Golems into reset. I'll go ahead and reset. Okay, I'll do Golems. Golems is level six. I don't need gold right now, but getting level six, I was thinking I might want to just rush bot lane. Use our Q and our E. Our, everything's on cooldown. Our charm's ready to proc. We'll pop it. We should get close to level six off these guys. If we don't get it, we'll be just like a minion or two away from it. All right, cool. We got it. Got my R now. Kiana's full HP. Nice little play by the Thresh. Thresh is the highest win rate support in the game right now. And what we're going to do is grab our Swifties. Another huge advantage to going for this build is Swifties are very inexpensive. It's only a 600 gold once you have the normal boots. Sork Shoes is uh, 800 gold, so you're saving 200 gold there. Looks like my bot lane ended up backing. I can go for a blue buff while I wait. Looks like top scuttle's coming up in 50 seconds or less. This can happen sometimes on Evelyn if you have losing lanes like my top and my mid lane. Those are very difficult to get successful ganks on. So essentially what can end up happening is you can get very deprived in the early game. I know we look low and we are because we did bloom grub at the same time. We'll heal up off it quite nicely. And something important to keep in mind is if they're full HP and your laners are losing, your ganks, like even if you land everything, it typically doesn't matter. Uh, did they actually back? No, they didn't. Oh, they did. That sucks. They were in that back bush I ran into with my sweeper. Eat this fruit. Build a pinch something on Kiana. She has tier twos. Ionian boots are really popular right now. Really pop popular boot option for a lot of uh, champions. Use my R. I want to get the kill. I didn't want to risk her killing me. It didn't seem like Katarina was really reacting either, so just didn't want to risk dying there. It's worth though. If you use your R, you get the kill. You don't die. It's worth 10 out of 10 times on Evelyn. We'll take that. Very important to get success, successful kills and successful ganks, particularly once you are level 6. That way you can start racking up your Dark Sill. We're going to take a peek at top lane. That's the lane we're closest to. It is not look gankable at all. Nasus is super under leveled. He, he might be laggy. He just may not know what he's doing in that matchup. But either way, we don't really want to go there. So... Right now, we have an option. We can go Lich Bane Rush, which I prefer over Night Harvester. I think Lich Bane Rush gives more stats for cheaper, more useful stats for Evelyn, especially clearing her camps. Lich Bane is just way better. Or what we can do is go the Hyper Greedy route, which I think is what we're going to do, and that is rushing straight into Majaya's. Super greedy. I don't like this at all. I'm half health, Teemo's full HP. Nasus is almost dead, do the math. He's gonna kill Nasus with one auto attack. Then I'm gonna be stuck fighting a fed Teemo. Like, this would not have turned out well if I stayed. <laughs> I mean, it, it's sad, it's unfortunate, but it just, it is what it is. This is why I also meet my teammates at the start of the game. You'll have people who may not understand what the jungler's supposed to do, or they may just be frustrated or whatever. I don't think he saw me. My R is up in 15. There's a fiddlesticks here. Hit him, Draven. Draven, where are you going? I'm going to have to cut them off.
I'm not even going to use my R. I didn't need that heal. We have four mesh stacks now. We don't want to die. Kiana is low enough to where with electrocute proc, we might be able to kill her. She's sitting on about 700 HP. She's not on a potion. She doesn't have healer barrier, nothing like that. We're going to get another point to her W. She's under turret. She shouldn't be able to go invisible. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that was some lag, dude. I don't know what happened there. I don't know if that's my keyboard or if my old man hands are actually that slow, but my R took 10 years to go off. Maybe the snare lasted longer than I anticipated. Regardless, we get the kill. <laughs> it was very ugly. We're sitting on eight mesh stacks. Do not die, guys. If you're gonna run this setup, this build, it's all about taking the easiest ganks imaginable. The safest ganks. This is not about being Rambo or running in and dying. If you wanna do that, you should play Zack or Rambus or Nunu. Charms up, let me get vision. Morgana's not even in this bush. Got my slow on him. She charged, she black shielded herself. Oh my god. Wow, that was a death sentence for her Draven. That's really something. Don't know where Fiddle is, he's behind. Morgana snare should. Ooh, I thought it would be on cooldown still. She's gonna get dove here. Fiddle's not nearby. Oh, that charm was way too early on my part. If I had my R up, we could have gone for it, but uh, not without it. This is going to be really hard. She actually has Hourglass too, I think. I don't know why Dream doesn't just hit her. Oh, am I dead here? Oh! I almost just died. God. I was close, but we didn't lose our mesh stacks. I mean, we still have... We didn't lose our shutdown or anything. Can we kill Aphelios? We're two levels up on him. I think we can. With our R and Electrocute proc, our Electrocute's up right there, as you can see. I have my R still. He doesn't have his R. He's dead. I don't even need my R. Fiddle's coming bot side. I think he sees what's going on here. He doesn't have his R. Kian is low. This is another kill. We're going to get into our Lich Bane here really soon. You can even go uh, tanky items on this build at the end, like Dead Man's or Force of Nature, if you need to. Since you have Celerity. Got it. I'm gonna R just in case. I don't know if that last shot's gonna kill me. The turret ramps up its damage per shot for like the first five shots, so. I don't wanna risk losing Mej over that. You may say, well, why didn't you just R early to not lose HP? Because if I were to R early, I would have put it on. Uh... Well, she could have potentially snared me under turret too. Like, I didn't wanna her to hit me with stuff under turret. I wanted to use my R to be able to dodge things and kill her, but she ended up. Not paying attention because I kind of held wall, went in, and she was clearly looking at shop or something. Now, with this build on Evelyn, it can be challenging to get dragons. Just taking dragons with the Dark Seal is really tough. So, until you have a full first item or until you have Sheen, I wouldn't try to solo dragons. But you can solo Herald regardless of what your items are in any champion. Like, any champion at any level can literally solo Herald. Uh, we'll go Lich Bane. I'm feeling it. I think Lich Bane's worth 100% for the 10% movement speed. Our Slayer's giving us 16 movement speed right now. With, uh, oh, we already had... That was already with this. So instead of 16, it's now giving us 17 with the other 5%. I guess it's not that much. The Lich Bane... 10% movement speed on so is really nice. We're moving at nearly 500 right now, guys. This is a... Uh, we're moving at about... As fast as a Janna moves, guys, with Boots of Mobility. Landed the charm. Got her. And since we're fast AF, even though she like used her CC on us, we still caught up to her and used our charm. That's the beauty of this build. It makes it so easy to land charms. 
I really do enjoy it. Little six died bot side. I can't help Nasus. I'm just glad he has an AFK. And he's, for lack of a better word, I don't want to say he's doing poorly, but he, like he's struggling. He's he's having a hard time top lane to the point where I think a lot of players would just AFK, or uh, maybe who knows? Maybe he's flaming me in chat, and I just can't see it. He's been to base at least like six, seven times. Cool, he's sticking with it. Got him. I didn't even have to use my R. I can pick up this kill out of Felios now. And that's it, guys. That's GG's. Well played. I hope you enjoyed this. Oh, I had him. I hope you enjoyed this Evelyn commentary guide. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Listen.